Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be looking at another way in which we can use raw therapy to process a raw file such as an NEF file um, before we open it up in the GIMP to uh, finish off our, our manipulation or our editing. Um, I thought today we'd look at um, noise reduction which is something that raw therapy does particularly well and to demonstrate that I'm showing you um, one of my least favorite photographs that I've ever taken um, simply because uh, I was playing around one night with my ISO settings and took this which is frankly an appalling picture um, if you don't know what noise is one look at this picture should uh, make it quite clear what I mean by noise um, if I just open up the detail view um, you can see we've zoomed in on this portion of the sky here and you can see that the image looks like it has a lot of static in it um, and that's basically what we call noise it's where the image um, produces this kind of static in an attempt to illuminate a particularly dark area and you tend to get this um, noise when you have a, a very high ISO setting which you might have because you are in a very dark place but you still want a, uh, a relatively fast shutter speed so if you don't have a tripod for example so if I just switch on the information for this particular shot which I I do by clicking on this little blue information uh, icon uh, you can see that um, the aperture of my camera was set to 5.6 and the, the shutter time was a quarter of a second and that the ISO was set to uh, 1600 and it's that ISO of 1600 which has produced such a, a grainy image um, but of course I can't go back and retake the photo now um, and use a tripod and do it all properly um, so I'm just going to have to try and fix the picture that I do have so what we're going to do to try and fix this image is once we've opened it up in raw therapy um, we're going to go over to our um, detail tab over here and when you first open up your detail tab it will probably look like this where you have uh, these three options uh, we can choose to sharpen the image well this image is sharp enough really I mean that's essentially what noise is uh, we can or we could also toggle the noise reduction for luminance or color noise now it's this luminance noise reduction that we're interested here because um, luminance is where we've got noise because it's tried to compensate for the lack of light um, so basically what we're going to do first is um, open up this luminance noise reduction tab and simply click enabled and you'll see down here there's a little red dot when that red dot turns green it means the image has finished doing what it needs to do now this hasn't made, uh, made much of a difference just yet um, and the reason for that is because our edge tolerance is set relatively low for a, an image which is this noisy so if I just throw the edge tolerance up to its maximum um, you should see pretty quickly what effect that has as soon as our little icon down here turns green okay so you can see right there that that has taken a substantial portion of the um, noise out of the image so if I just zoom in on that now it is still a little bit speckly and you can see lots of different colors within um, the the sky itself um, but if we compare that to what we saw before that is actually already a significant difference um, but this is still a, a fairly unappealing image so once we've cleaned up some of the noise in this way we can play around with some of the other settings that are built into raw therapy as well so I'm going to go over to our exposure tab and in the previous tutorial on raw therapy we looked at how we can use the exposure compensation now this image wasn't actually over or underexposed. the exposure wasn't a problem um, but this doesn't really feel like a night scene to me um, the blacks really aren't coming through in the sky I mean, it just seems like a very kind of pale mauve coloured sky which is probably a true reflection of what the sky looked like on that evening but it's not what I'm really interested in for the moment so before I open this up in GIMP I'm actually going to just use raw therapy to bring some of the blacks through and there's a really handy function here that we can use which is just to um, toggle the blackness um, here so we're going to turn this up to be quite high up to about 10,000 and you'll see almost immediately again uh, the effect that that has okay so this is looking a lot more like it now this is um, much more like the Melbourne skyline that I envisage when I take these pictures so we can use the, the black there, we can also toggle the contrast to make sure that some of those lights really pop through um, the, the landscape that we've got. 
So if we turn this up to 11 or 12, and you can just see those lights come through just ever so slightly. Um, now we can continue to toggle these, we can play around with them a bit more, um, but I just wanted to show you some of the ways in which you can rescue an image before you open it up in GIMP. Once you've rescued the image as much as you've wanted, then you can simply click send to editor again. And that very simply just opens it up in the GIMP for us to continue working on. Now in previous tutorials, um, a, a tutorial very a very long time ago, I looked at using um, curves and um, levels to improve night shots in the GIMP. Um, that process still works perfectly fine when you've got uh, a JPEG image, but when you've got a, a raw image where you've got so much extra data to play with um, within the image, it's often a lot quicker and a lot easier to just do something like that in um, raw therapy first and then um, drop that into the GIMP for your final edits. So then you could you know, add text to this or you know, do whatever else you want with it. Anyway, so that was just a quick tutorial on how to um, enhance some of your night photography with um, raw therapy and how you can then export that into the GIMP. Uh, I hope you found it helpful and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.